What's up guys, Garrett here with Self Taught Dev. Today we're gonna to learn how to install Visual Studio Code on your Windows computer or Mac. I feel like it should be pretty much the same thing if you have a Mac. So yeah, I've been using Atom for about the past year, but the other three devs at my job use Visual Studio, and then everybody that teaches on Front End Masters uses Visual Studio Code as well. So I decided to give it a shot Thursday, and it's kind of awesome. Uh, my computer, I haven't noticed that much of a, of a performance yeah, performance difference, but on my work computer, my work computer is a piece of shit, and I can definitely tell a performance increase over Atom. So yeah, what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go to code.visualstudio.com. I'll have a link in the description if you just wanna click on it there. Then we'll click on download for Windows, and that should start the download for us down here in the bottom left corner. If you're using Chrome, if you're not using Chrome, I don't know what you're doing. Switch, go back to Chrome. Um, and then they've also got this extension library here with a bunch of other cool extensions that you should probably check out in addition to what I'm going to tell you about today. So after that's in downloaded, click right there. That'll start the installation. And then we'll just click on I accept the agreement. Sell your firstborn child to Microsoft. Click on next, next, next. I'm going to create a desktop icon. So I'll check right there. I'm gonna click next again, install, and then that will let it start installing for us. Is that sublime? Is that like a sublime theme? Oh, that's cool. Anyway, uh, click on finished after it's done, and then congrats, you have Visual Studio Code installed. If you had any trouble with that part, let me know in the description. Um, shouldn't have any trouble with that part. If you do, kinda worried. But anyway, uh, now that you got it installed, we're gonna talk about a few of the extensions that I have that I really like for it. So first one here is Atom One Dark Theme. Like I said, I came from Atom, so I installed a theme that makes it kind of look more like Atom as far as the text coloring. What you're gonna do to install a theme is click on the Extensions tab right here. And then right here in Search Extensions in the Marketplace, you can just type in Atom One Dark. And it should pop up either the first or second one. Just click on the green install button that, that'll be there for you. And then that'll install it. Um, and then we'll clear that out. So yeah, basically that one just changes the, the look of it kind of. Next one we're going to install is auto rename tag. So you just search auto rename tag, click on install. What that does is if you change if you have a tag and you change the first part it'll automatically change the closing tag for you so you don't have to click and change both parts which is pretty awesome and then the next one we're going to talk about we're going to go down to the html boilerplate so just search html boilerplate right here and what this does if we have a little html document here we can just type html go down to html5 dash boilerplate press enter and it gives us an HTML boilerplate here. And I'm gonna go ahead and clear out this commented stuff, because I don't want that there. But yeah, it just saves you a little bit of time when you're making a new HTML boilerplate. So that one's pretty cool. Then we also have bracket pair colorizer. What this does, it kinda colorizes the brackets that correspond to each other, so you don't have to spend as much time kinda picking out the brackets that pair up when you're making changes to your JavaScript files. So that one's really handy as well. And then we've got live server. What this does, if we right click on our HTML document and click open with live server, it'll launch it in the browser for us. And we're gonna split the screen here. So if we just type H1, and then in there we're gonna just type testing and then save, it automatically refreshes the browser and updates our changes for us. So that one's pretty handy. Somebody in my Discord pointed that one out to me. So thanks for that, man. Um, and then we could just do like, hello, YouTube, if I could spell. And then it automatically updates, which is awesome. So another one I like is material icon theme. This basically just changes the icons for your file types here. I just like these file icons way better. And then there is the last one I'm gonna talk about. Um, I'm learning React, so I installed these React code snippets. What this does, once you have it installed, you have all these shortcuts you can use for React. So if you have a JS file, 
we can just do IMP tab and it'll automatically do the import module name from module and then all we have to do is like react uh, import whatever from whatever we want to import so just a few things to save some time so those are my favorite extensions so far like I said I haven't been using Visual Studio Code too long yet so if you have any extensions that you like put them in the comments and I'll be sure to check them out because I want to find stuff that'll help me be more productive as a dev so hope this helped you guys out if it did give me a thumbs up so YouTube knows I'm making good stuff if you want to come hang out in the discord we've got a little discord where we just kind of share articles and talk about tech and stuff and you can just hang out with other people trying to become devs and i think that's it for now so i will see you next time peace